The world's largest region in terms of population, Asia and the Pacific has 4.1 billion inhabitants as of 2015, equivalent to 56% of the world total. The region's combined GDP of 24.3 trillion US dollars is the world's second largest and represents one third of the global output. Between 2000 and 2015, Asia and the Pacific experienced the fastest economic growth across world regions, largely driven by China and India. Its GDP grew above 5% every year in that period. Asia and the Pacific is home to both advanced and emerging economies of varying sizes and income levels. Its rapid growth has been fueled by rising middle classes, large infrastructure development and increasing market liberalization. Rapid economic growth, combined with increased market openness, air connectivity and travel facilitation have led to a surge in both inbound and outbound travel in the region. Asia and the Pacific is the second most visited region in the world after Europe, receiving 279 million international travelers in 2015, nearly one-fourth of the world's total. It recorded 15 million more arrivals than in 2014, making 2015 the sixth year of consistently robust growth. China is the top destination in Asia and the Pacific receiving 57 million visitors in 2015, followed by Thailand, Hong Kong, Malaysia, and Japan, and is the fourth out of the top 10 destinations in the world ranking by international tourist arrivals. Emerging as the fastest growing source market in recent years, China has also been the top spender in international tourism since 2012. This year, the World Tourism Organization and the Global Tourism Economy Research Center joined forces once again to research tourism trends in Asia and the Pacific. In line with GTEF's thought-provoking theme this year, the growing consumer class, rethinking and reshaping the future tourism landscape, the report highlights three areas of regional trends namely the growing influence of the consumer and millennial class of travelers, the status quo of investment in tourism infrastructure and human capital development in the region. We hope this joint report can serve as an essential tool for policymakers, academia and the private sector to better understand the tourism landscape and the dynamics that drive development and growth in the region.